everybody and welcome back to another episode of Is It A Beauty Hack or Is It Whack? Where I test out popular beauty hacks and I see if they actually work or if they're just completely whack. So the beauty hack that we are going to be testing out today, as you might be able to tell, I'm not wearing any mascara. And that means that today we are making DIY mascara. So here's the mascara that I made and I'm going to show you guys how to make. And here is the mascara that is a store-bought brand. I'm going to be wearing both of these on my eyes. And I'm going to see which one looks the best if the DIY actually compares to the store-bought. Also, you guys, in my new vlog, I'm going to show you guys how I dyed my hair. I dyed my hair on camera and did like a mini tutorial on how to do this. So if you're curious in what I did to get this hair, be sure to go check out my vlog. Link is down in the description below. Boom! So what you want to do is wash out an old mascara container, run it under water, and make sure you get all of the black mascara out of it. That way you can start fresh with your DIY mascara. So there are a bunch of different recipes to make DIY mascara. The recipe that I chose involves these three ingredients and that's it. Three ingredients, boom, you're done. So if you guys want me to test out different recipes, be sure to give a comment down below and I can try out all the recipes. There's one recipe with beeswax, I think that might look really good too. So to make this, you are going to need bentonite clay, activated charcoal, and vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is about $5, activated charcoal is about $7, and the bentonite clay is $5 too, so that is about $17, but you're spending $17 to make DIY mascara, and with all of these ingredients, you can probably use this for a whole year. So that's basically investing $17 in a whole year of mascara, which would save you a ton of money. So you're going to need 3 tablespoons of bentonite clay, 10 capsules of activated charcoal. All you have to do is pop the capsules open and pour it into your dish. I use 4 teaspoons of vegetable glycerin. So you mix all of that up together and then get a small bag, or it can be a bigger bag, all I had was a small bag. Fill it up with all of your mascara, cut a hole in the side. What works better is a syringe, I didn't have a syringe. So I used the bag to push a little bit of the mascara into the tube and then I used a little stick to just kind of shove it in there. And basically you keep repeating those steps until your container is full. You also can get all of these ingredients at your local health food store, that's where I got mine. Okay, so now that your mascara is all ready to go, like mine, and I'm going to give you updates throughout the day and see where I'm at with this mascara. So, let's put on the homemade mascara first. So, as you can see when I open it up, it looks like regular mascara. Alright, it's going on pretty well so far. Honestly, this feels like regular mascara like that I bought. It feels like this brand of mascara. I'm gonna add another layer of this. Okay, so so far with this, I am pretty impressed. Here is the DIY mascara, and I think that, dude, I think that looks really good. Okay, now we're gonna try the store-bought mascara. I am using Punk Volumizer Mascara by, that's what it's called. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I think it's like douche or douche, I don't know. So. The doche. Doche. Okay, so here is the store bought and here is the DIY. And I don't think you can really tell a difference right off the bat. This is a little bit creamier, but I think that it's held up pretty well. So what we're gonna do is we're going to wear this all day and, and I'm going to give you updates throughout the day and let you know how it's holding up and if it's actually a hack or if it's just black. So so it has been about an hour since I have applied it, the mascara, and I think that it's holding up pretty well. There's like a little bit, it did wipe off a little bit, wow, okay. I'm also on this website called You Now Right Now, which is a website that lets me chat with you guys, so here are the people that are in here right now. So I just got back from Target and the P.O. Box. I just checked my P.O. Box and I had the most beautiful drawn picture in there. If you guys want to see it, go check out my vlog or Instagram. I'll probably be posting it on my Instagram, but I love it when you guys send me things. Anyways, back to the point. It's raining really hard. Also, that's in my vlog too. So if you want to see 
Okay, so it has been about maybe like five hours since I originally put it on. This is the eye with the mascara that is DIY and this is the mascara that I bought. And I think it's holding up pretty well, if not better. Like, it is raining outside, so it did like it did kind of get wet and like it still looks fine to me so that's a plus I did notice one thing like okay so if I like blink on this a little bit kind of like comes off and rubs onto my finger so it's like the recipe that I used is not 100% bomb proof like I feel like if I were to do this again and try a different recipe it might work a little bit um, better but yeah I'll leave all of that for the end of the video so oh there's my dog's butt Dog butt, dog butt. Okay, 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 you guys. I've been, I have a double chin like all the time. I don't even understand. Okay, you guys. So it has been basically about the whole entire day, and here is the result. So you really can't tell that much of a difference. This, like, the DIY one clumps up a little bit. Like it, like, in moisture, it gets a little bit more um, clumpy versus like this one. Yeah, overall, I do believe that this is a beauty hack, and I think that this is really, really awesome. So, DIY mascara, it, it worked, and I think that it's a great alternative, especially if you're allergic to some of the makeup products, such as mascara. I'm not personally, but if you are, this is a great alternative, and I just think that it's so awesome. So now I'm going to roll into the Bay of the Day. Even though I look crazy right now, I mean, I'm sorry, Bay of the Day was pre-recorded, so <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, guys, so today's Bay of the Day goes out to X Maddie, who is right here. She's right there. There. And she has Sky Squad in her bio. She is so awesome. She comments on almost every single one of my pictures. She's extremely active. Thank you so much, Maddie, for your support. The Sky Squad loves you. And if you want to become Bay of the Day, all you have to do is be active on my Instagram and or Twitter. Basically, if you are active and you have notifications turned on and you are commenting on my newer pictures, you have a great chance into becoming Bay of the Day. I love you guys so much. 